Hi guys, it's Debbie from Life at the Farm. I wanted to do a cook with me video um, to show you guys how I did my tofu. I cook three extra firm, three to four blocks of extra firm tofu a week. This is my main protein source. I recently went vegetarian. So if I can help anybody along that journey and the transition, make it a little easier. Um, that's what this is all about. So I drain my tofu. This has been draining for about a half hour. And then I cut it into little cubes on paper towel <clears throat> and pat it dry. I find the drier the better as far as cooking and the texture goes. It's much more meaty feeling and tasting if it's dry. So we'll just pat this dry. You want to do little batches. Um, I don't like my tofu mushy. So, um, anyway, this is it. And when you think it's dry enough, you might want to separate it a little bit more and pat it again. And then it will go into a dry rub type of coating thingy. I'm also gluten free. So I'll be using cornstarch, but you can use flour too. That's fine. And it gives, when you fry it up, it gives it like a crispy texture. It's great. Very good in salads and things. It makes awesome tacos too. I had it as tacos last week. So, after you get your tofu cubed and dried, I put in... Um, cornstarch in a large bowl. This will be the base of the coating. In here I have a half teaspoon of onion powder and some grinds of um, black pepper. So I'll put that in. And in here I have garlic powder, curry powder, and salt. This is all according to taste. This is about what I like. And um, so we got cornstarch. I did about a cup of that. A few grinds of the peppercorns. And I like the fresh ground. Uh, it gives us a fresher pepper taste. Um, some Himalayan pink salt. Curry powder. And onion powder and garlic powder. So that's what I use as the base of my coating. And we're going to just stir this up to combine it well. I tried to do this with my big camera and the tripod, and then the camera ran out of battery. So I'm doing it with my phone. It makes it a little more difficult, but I think you guys will get the gist anyway. So my daughter and her boyfriend have decided to do, you know, more healthful meals, some more whole food options, and um, I didn't know if they could maybe try this and see if they like it. They're big meat eaters and, you know, meat's very unhealthy. So, we'll see. Maybe this will help them too. So here I just gently stirred the tofu into the mixture to combine it. See, it's coated with a little bit of all that stuff that we put in there. Cornstarch mix cornstarch mixture. All right, so I took the pan and just sprayed it with some canola oil. Um, I also have coconut oil, but I don't know how well that would do in the oven. So the oven I'm going to pump up to uh, 400 degrees. I'm just going to put a single layer of tofu and bake it for a little bit to dry it out even more before I fry it. Okay, it's been about 15 ooh, or 20 minutes. Excuse me. These are pretty much dry. Just enough to warm them up and dry them out. Now this has the coating of the, um, yeah, they're warm. I mean, the bottoms are still a little wetter, but um, once you put them in the pan, then they'll crisp up nice. That way they won't, you know, cook anymore. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this Luana coconut oil. It doesn't matter what brand you buy. This is organic you can buy. Um, so I'm just going to fry these up in the pan for oh, about, I don't know, 
f five or six minutes per side. The coconut oil acts as my healthy fat for the day. I've also been adding some healthy nuts and seeds, chia, flax seed, uh, walnuts, pecans, and uh, some avocado, and of course olives to my salad. So you want to just coat the pan evenly with the coconut oil. And you're going to set these into the pan. And you're just going to let them sit. Don't stir them. Don't anything. Okay? Just let them sit on that side. Okay, so the tofu is ready to come out. Just nice little small batches. Just toss them in the pan to brown all the sides. Um, it's alright if you do. You know, this side didn't flip, so then I flip it manually just so you get all the sides. And it will crisp up really nice if you just let it sit and do its thing. Um, these ones got a little too brown. But. And then when you're done with all your little batches, I set them on here to cool. A little bit and then I just put them in one main dish and you can pick up these all week as a snack or put them on your salads mmm that's yummy really really good so I hope this helps and if you have any other suggestions on ways to cook tofu and kind of masked that it's tofu. Please let me know in the comments. As I'm a brand new vegan. Or vegetarian. And I'm learning as I go. So any suggestions are very helpful. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great week. And I'll talk to you later.